Hi, I'm Andy Graham, Certified Fastener Specialist with BoltsandNuts.com, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to measure washers. When it comes to measuring round washers, there are going to be three main measurements we need. They're going to be the inside diameter, outside diameter, and thickness. The inside diameter, or ID for short, is the size of the center hole. The OD is the size of the outside of the ring, and thickness is simply just the thickness of the washer. I have two washers here on my desk. Let's take a closer look and I'll show you how to measure them with calipers. Here I have my measuring calipers, two washers, and our boltsandnuts.com round washer identification chart. After we measure the washers, this chart will come in handy to help us determine whether a washer is either inch or metric, and also the type, like flat or fender. This helpful tool can be saved or printed from the link listed below in the description. To get started, we're going to take our first washer here and we're going to want to determine the inside diameter. Now in order to determine the inside diameter, we're first going to measure with the top of the caliper, the inside hole here. And the inside diameter of this washer is 0 0.705. The next measurement we're going to want is the outside diameter. And to get outside diameter, we're going to use the bottom portion of the gauge here. And we're going to put it on and we're going to rotate it to find the biggest spot. So the outside diameter on this washer is 1.7505. 1 1.7505. 1 and the last measurement we're going to need is the thickness. And the thickness, we're only going to measure one side, and the thickness of this washer is 0 0.125. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take this information and I'm going to want to compare it to these charts. Um, so I have inch sizes here, and then I have metric sizes here. So what I want to look for is I'm first going to look at the inside diameter. Our inside diameter was 0 0.705. Uh, and I'm going to come down. This is basic diameter. I see that it's going to fall roughly here. 0 0.688 has a plus or minus tolerance or acceptance or allowance. So this washer is going to fall in this inside diameter here. Uh, the next dimension I'm going to check is a 1.7505 outside diameter. And if I look here, I'm going to just keep checking across the same line. I see 1.75, we're a little over, but there is a tolerance of plus 0 0.03. So my measurement will also fall within that range. Uh, and then my thickness was 0 0.125. Uh, and again, on this chart here, I fall within the standard thickness range of this size, 0 0.122 through 0 0.138. So this washer falls within the range of this line right here. This is a 5 8 USS flat washer. Now we're going to take our second washer here and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to repeat the process. I'm going to get the inside diameter which is 0 0.6655. Outside diameter is 1.313. And then our thickness is 0 0.1015. Okay, again, we're going to take this information and compare it against our round washer identification chart. So our inside diameter was 0 0.6655. Uh, and I'm going to just kind of come down here. And I see, oh, it's going to fall within this range, 0 0.656 plus... 0 0.030 or minus 0 0.007 tolerance. It's going to fall within that range. Um, our outside diameter was 1.313. So when I look at this, 
we're gonna look at the same line. Oh, I see it's roughly the same with the tolerance it falls within. Thickness, also the same, falls within range. So this is a standard thickness washer. Uh, so this, what this tells me is this silver washer or zinc plated washer I have is a 5 8 SAE flat washer. I hope you found this short tutorial to be helpful and informative. We at BoltsandNuts.com can supply all different types of washers along with their exact dimensional information. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us directly or leave them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for more Fastener content. Thank you for watching.